when I made the phone call on September 13th, it was because I saw the pictures of him standing on top of the pile saying that we were going to smoke the evildoers out that did this to us. After I joined the Army, it became clear and clear to me that we weren't going to go to Afghanistan. The threat comes from Iraq. Saddam is now training Al-Qaeda. Each day that goes by, he becomes more dangerous, more diabolical. With each passing day, every day. Mr. Bunny, uh, Mr. Byrne, uh, Mr. Campbell. Uh, the gun smokes only after it is fired. Only after. After it's been fired. In the form of a mushroom cloud. Uh, uh, the joint resolution is passed. He would watch the news and get so upset about all the lies that they were telling. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> he realized it was important for him to speak out. Momentarily, we're going to speak with a 25-year-old uh, disabled Iraqi war vet. He's here on his honeymoon. I speak for a man who gave for this land. There were 25 of us crammed into a two-and-a-half-ton truck with no armor on the sides. Spill his blood in the dirt in the dust. I'm Thomas Young. And he's come back to If I don't fight this system, I will die. I just told him that I was going to marry him. I didn't ask him. I just thought he should know. So you don't feel that you're undermining our troops? Well, I have a brother who's over there right now. See you later, big bro. Uh, yes, same here. The life of your son may depend upon it. Thank you for speaking out. Let your voice be heard. It's your country. Each and every one of you is going to have to work hard if you want to try to bring about a change.